Sarah Simon under the leadership of Professor L.J. Mugise, Ministry Student President, Ministers of the Way and their spouses, my spiritual father, Reverend L.B. Nzele, CMCM siblings in Christ, good day. On, on behalf of the CEC, we extend our sincere gratitude to delegates of the 8th CEC Congress by having so much faith in us by means of electing us into office. We appreciate that it is God who calls us into service. It means the will of God supersede the will or the interest of individuals. Despite all efforts we put into working on the ground to lobby votes, God will always decide who must be in charge of his way. And therefore, brothers and sisters, we need to appreciate the fact that the Congress decided and we must rally behind the decision of the Congress. It is normal, brothers and sisters, or as a matter of fact, it is necessary to differ in opinions on matters of interest, but such differences must not be given a chance to break us into groups or institute hatred amongst us as siblings in Christ. It is our request that we remain united and most importantly, let us love each other and that love will make people will know that Rebana Bamundi. Comments such as the synod is divided must die a natural death because cause Christ or because Christ himself is not divided. Members of the CEC, we are faced with a lot of responsibilities before us. We are given a great assignment to correct our 2022 constitution which was approved by the General Synod sitting in Stellenbosch. This remains our priority because the constitution talks to the life of the ministry and we need to also attend to other issues that were referred by the Congress to us. It means brothers and sisters in these two years, we need to really pull up our swords. It sounds a bit scary to do all these things in such a small period, but if we put our mind and energy on this, we will conquer. CDC and CE, I therefore invite you to commit yourself 100% to this task that God gave us. Your willingness will determine the output of the task. The invitation, brothers and sisters, it is also extended to all our seven regions to support us in this gym. Brother Mabuza, Brother Leon, Sister Pell, and Brother Mpo. Indeed, you have done the best in the race. You ran a full distance. And thank you for delivering this healthy baby to us. This healthy baby that we are talking about is the CYA. And like a midwife, when she or he delivers a baby to a mother, he or she gives a report of the physical examination of the child. Part of the report, it is to confirm that the baby is healthy, that there is no jaundice that was uh, diagnosed, or no any other infection on the in, on, of the umbilical cord. Now we have counted yesterday the fingers of this child and we found out that indeed this child being a CYM is a healthy child. It is our responsibility therefore, Brother Mabuza, that as a mother and in a form of leadership, we take care of this child to give him or her the best thing the child deserves, which is breastfeeding. We promise to this Congress that we are going to take care of this child 
B, C, Y, M, and you will make sure that this child will live and never die. Yesterday, it would be our ignorance not to know, moderator, that the church is in a serious financial crisis. The financial instability, siblings, it is a threat to any other organization. But this instability, it is not only experienced at the general synod, the financial instability of the church, it is experienced at our regional synods at our presbyteries and congregations. If the church can fail to develop a sustainable model to assist itself into this crisis, the future of the church is then in a serious catastrophe. Let us employ methods, brothers and sisters, and means to assist the church to lead so that we, might, we may also find the church in a healthy state. Moderator Professor Modise, actually Reverend Berta and CMCM Reverend Dikuta, your efforts and love for this ministry is appreciated. We are aware that you left your families for three nights you have been with us just to come and make sure that our Congress is a success. Allow us this afternoon to extend our love to your children and your spouses for allowing us to share your love, to share your physical presence and your resources with them. But if you say, Masaku Amaswa, I propose a Kamakal. Loosely translated, we mean we will forever need you to make sure that our ministry is in a good air. Uh, or it's in a stable position. To our regional synod, as I conclude, our regional synod leadership, thank you for the support and rallying behind us. But most importantly, thank you for encouraging delegates to attend this uh, the 8th CEC region, uh, General Congress. We wish you, brothers and sisters, travel mercies. Let us go and display the love of Christ and be the voice of reason to the world and to the church. May the good Lord bless you as we go back to our respective uh, homes and may we continue taking care of our children, those who we, we, who we have children and our spouses. And let us make sure that we protect the integrity of this ministry. CYM will lead and CYM will not die. Amen. I thank you.